settle down for the 100 meters. This time they go. Burrell not too well away. Chrissy was quite well away and also going well as Emo and Kelvin Smith. And storming through now is Burrell. Burrell comes right through. Christy probably gets second. And a photograph for third between Emo and Witherspoon. Very, very close indeed for the places. Emo may well have got the third place, but Christy is coming back. The time 10.13. There's a headwind of nearly a metre a second against. But uh, that was a good start by Christy. And Christy's coming to form at the time that matters. Look at him there. He was quickly off the blocks. Burrell alongside him loses, oh, about half a yard in the first 30 metres, but comes back in brilliant form. He's unbeatable at the moment. These sprinter supreme. Christie, though, hangs in there, and having been caught, doesn't lose his form, and starts to come back. Burrell driving for the line. Christie in second place. Imo coming through very fast indeed, and Witherstone on the far side with a spoon. That's very close for second place, but my original impression was that Christie had got it. And that camera isn't quite on the line, that finished camera. But it is very, very close indeed. And whether he's second or third on the photograph, the message to the rest of the Europeans is that Christie's back. Burrell was not disconcerted by that rather sloppy start by his standards. And look how he keeps his form and drives. He's perfectly balanced. He's a powerhouse. But he moves so beautifully as well. Sanguma, one of Christie's uh, main rivals in the European, is really struggling there in the background. I think the important thing is that uh, Burrell, well, he kept his nerve, he kept his cool, and he kept going, but he was pushed to that fast time by Linford Christie, and Linford Christie got ahead of Sanguma, the only other European in it. And it is a photograph. Chidi Imo from Nigeria, who's had one good win over Linford Christie this season.